Welcome back to our virtual system channel. Today's class will be learning how to make this beautiful baby dress. It has this beautiful sleeve with cuff and a bow attached to it. It's a very simple tutorial and it's beginner friendly. If this is something you like to learn, kindly stay tuned to the end of this tutorial. Thank you. Okay, so to make this dress, I'm working with a scuba fabric. So the length of this scuba fabric is about 58 to 16 inches. So I'm going to be exhausting the length, okay, for the width of my dress. Remember, this dress has some pleats. So I'm going to be working with the 16 inches for the width of my dress. And the length of the dress is going to be how long you want it to be on the child. So it can be on the knee length, it can be on the full length, whichever one you want to work with. So now I'm going to, I, I already have my length and i have about 21 inches for the length that i want for this dress okay about 20 inches so i have 20 inches for the length and then the width is of course my the length of my scuba fabric so i'm just going to slash it into two and one is going to be for the front while the other is going to be for the back so here i'm dividing this fabric by the width by the 60 inches so it means i have 30 inches width for the front and 30 inches width for the back so i'm going to work on the front first so before you create your neckline to make this easier for you you need to create the pleats that you have on this dress so to create the pleats there are three pleats one at the center and two at each side from the center so the actual measurement that i'm working with for this child the chest measurement is 20 so 20 divided by 4 remember the fabric is folded into 4 so 20 divided by 4 is going to give me 5 inches and then i'm going to add one and a half inch same allowance which is going to make it six and a half inches so ideally i should have six and a half inches here on food but because of the pleats i have this excesses so i have excess of about eight inches so i'm going to try to divide my excesses into three so that i can take them as my pleats here okay so for the pleats i'm going to be taking the center plate first and then for the center plate i'm measuring around three inches from my center fold so here i'm measuring three inches and i've marked the three inches so my split is, my slit my plate is going to stop around almost at the half length of the child so that's between seven to eight inches for me and then i'm going to mark that point as well so i'm working with seven and a half so on that point i'm going to remark my three inches so i can have a straight line so now with my ruler i'm going to connect it and then i'll take it to the sewing machine now and then run a stitch here so after taking this split i'll take the two side split as well okay so i've gone ahead to sew this up to that point now i'm going to divide this split into two and then hold it with my pin so you're still going to sew it down okay so you do it like an inverted place so you have one and half on each side remember we took three inches so this is what it's going to look like you can see that our center plate is taken now this is our new center front where we have this seam so to each of the sides now i'm going to mark around three inches from here i mark three inches and then i'm going to take my new three inches split so here i'm going to mark three inches and fold so after folding it i'm going to take another pleat downwards up to the seven inches mark that i made okay so so you're going to take it in such a way that the pleat is going to be on the wrong side so now i'm hold i'm folding it like this and then i'm going to mark my three inches so this is what i'm going to have by the time we are done so here i'm just going to mark my seven inches downwards and then make it into a straight line and then hold the pleats on both sides okay so i have gone ahead to take the pleats on both sides as you can see so just like i did for the front i'm going to open up the pleats one and half on each side and then i'm going to pin it down so after pinning it down i'll get take it to the sewing machine and then sew it down you can also iron it but i'm just going to sew mine down and this is what the front is looking like now okay 
so this is what our front is looking like you can see our inverted plates and we have three so i'm going to be replicating this on the back as well but for the back i'm going to be working with a zipper to wear it easily remember it's a total neckline so you can also work with buttons but i'm going to be using a zipper for mine so the first thing i'm going to do now you can have just two plates at the back but i want to have this center plate as my back as well so what i'm going to do now is to mark the same three inches that i marked for the front so from the center back here i'm going to arrange it well and then i'll mark the three inches as well so this is going to be my new center back so here i'm going to mark the seven and a half inches that i worked with so i'm not going to stop it at seven and a half i'm going to stop it at around one inch below that okay and then i'm going to connect like this okay so now what i'm going to do is to reduce this because a zipper is going to go through this part so now i'm going to reduce this by two inches because i need just one inch for my zipper allowance so here i'm going to mark the one inch for my zipper allowance and then i'm going to mark it downwards so now i'm going to cut this like this okay so remember this just goes upwards like this as my center back okay the three inches from the from the three inch i took one inch from my zipper and then i cut off the rest of the so what i'm going to do now is to measure my actual seven inches for the for where my that where my place stops okay so here i'm just going to sew it close around here okay then after sewing it close i can take my pleats so after taking this place now just like i did for the first one for the front as well i'm going to mark my three inches and then mark the extra three inches so that i can pleat this just like i did for the front so i'm going to do this on both sides and bring it back okay so i have held it down with my sewing and now you can iron it down so that we can cut out the neckline so this is the front and this is the back so for the back just like i explained you need to sew it down here just a bit by around one inch then after sewing it down you can now open your pleats so i'm going to hold it down tentatively with my pins so that i can fix my zipper or buttons easily so i think i'm going to be fixing the zipper to this we are working with a button it's still going to be easy but because i'm working with a zipper i'm just going to pin it down tentatively so this is what it looks like this is my first place this is the second and this is the third place so now i'm going to fold this into two so that i can cut out my neckline so I have folded this and then laid them on each other. So this is the back and this is the front. So the front is going to start where my zipper allowance starts and I've notched that. So the neck width that I'm working with is 2 inches. Okay, this is for a child. So I'm working with a neck width of 2 inches and the depth I'm working with for the front is 2.5 and, and then for the back I'm working with a neck depth of 1 inch. So now I'm going to shape this and cut it out okay so i have cut out the neckline as you can see and then i went ahead to sew it down okay so that i don't lose my pleat so this is the front and this is the back neckline okay the back is just one inch so now the next thing now is to cut my shoulder slope and then shape my arm hole as well so to do this i'm going to fold it into two again so i'm just doing this in bits so that it can make the work easier for me so my shoulder is eight inches divided by two is going to give me four inches i already took out two inches so i have two inches left from my shoulder and i'll have it here so i'm adding one inch extra for my for sewing my sleeve and then the the armhole that i'm working with is five inches so here i have five inches i'm shipping this on the front so that i can just use it to cut the back so now from there i'm just going to curve my arm hole like this okay so this is going to be my arm hole curve and here i'm going to slant like this for my shoulder slope so after marking it like this i'm going to put 
the back unfold as well and then i'll just place it on it and then use it to cut out my ham hole so after cutting out my ham hole i'll go ahead and join the shoulder together and then join it on the side you can also shape it on the side but i'm just going to leave it as it is because this is not going to be a very fitted dress so i've cut out the ham hole and i'm going to cut out my shoulder slope as well so here i'm going to lay the front and back against each other and then i'm going to sew it on the shoulder and then sew it on the sides as well so like i said you can shape the side but i'm just going to leave mine as it is okay so i have sewn it on the shoulder as well as the side so on the hem i just use my pinking shear scissors to twist it out so that i can have this zigzag effect that i have on the hem because i don't want to aim it inward so this is what i have so far so when you turn it out this is what it looks like so the next thing i'm going to do this is the back and i hired it as well so these are my pleats at the back this is where i'm going to be fixing my zipper on my button and this is the front so the next thing i'm going to work on now is the sleeve so for the sleeve my round arm hole i've measured my round arm hole including my allowance and i have six inches so i have cut out the six inches on fold okay so i have six inches on fold and then the length of my sleeve is 10 inches so i cut out the 10 inches because i want it to puff a bit and i'm still going to add a curve so here i just measured two inches for my cap size and then i connected it for my sleeve so so for the curve i measured my the round sleeve okay so the round sleeve is about four inch uh, about three inches on fold so i added one inch allowance to it and then the length of my curve on fold is also around three inches so by the time i sew it i'll have around two and a half inches so what i'm going to do now is to open this now and then sew this to fit into the curve and then sew it close before fixing it so for the other side i've already done this so you can see that i pleated it so that it can fit into my curve and then i used it to cover it up so now i'll go ahead and sew this to my ham hole i'll do this for the two sides okay so the sleeve is fixed now the next thing now is to measure around the neckline and then i'm going to cut a bishop collar and fix it around the neckline so here from here i'm going to carefully measure around the neckline so after measuring i have about 17 and a half inches including zipper allowance so i'll use that measurement to cut out my bishop collar so i have a detailed tutorial on how to cut the bishop collar already on the channel if you don't know how to you can check the tutorial out and then i'm going to go ahead and cut it out and fix it to the neckline they'll work on the bow okay so i have added the the color as well so this is what we have and i'm just going to fix my zipper or button on the back so for the bow i'm, I'm going to use a 10 inches bow so i'll mark 10 inches on my fabric i'm going to illustrate this with the paper okay so after marking my 10 inches it's a circular bow there are several tutorials on bow on the channel so my 10 inches stops here so i'm going to cut out that point then after cutting it out i'm going to fold my fabric into two like this and then the measurement that i used in folding it is about five inches okay i used five inches so again i'm going to fold it into four so that i can shape it so after folding it into four on this outer part i'm just going to shape it to form like a circle okay so once i form the circle and i open it up this is what i'm going to have so you cut two of these and then you sew it around so that you can turn it out so after turning it out you are going to pick it at the midpoint here like this and then you're going to have your bow so i already did mine I picked it at the midpoint and then I used the pink fabric to cut a band so that I can use that to hold it together. So this is what I have now. I'm going to bring in my dress and then I'm going to place the bow on one side. So you can tack it to it permanently or you can just use a pin to 
to glue them together so that you can have it detachable so this is what the dress looks like you can see how beautiful our dress turned how to so i'll go ahead now and tack mine and then we'll see what it looks like okay so the bow is tacked now and this is what the dress looks like i hope you enjoyed making this beautiful tutorial with me if you enjoyed it let us know in the comment section like comment and subscribe to our channel and i will see you in the next one bye